Hey guys, William Fletcher here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create content for membership sites. So, uh, first, we're going to talk about researching, we're going to talk about outlining content, some of the tools that I use to create content for membership sites, um, kind of how to lay out your content, and some other cool things that I've learned along the way. Now, uh, one thing that I just want to point out right across the, the, the beginning here is that, you know, this can apply to any type of, of product that you're creating. Um, right now, I'm specifically going to focus on creating content for membership sites, but what you're going to learn in this training can be applied to any kind of product that you're creating, any kind of training you're creating. So uh, just keep that in mind as you go through this training. So uh, the first and uh, important thing that I want you to understand is that you have to do research, guys. Um, if you want to go out there and create a great membership site, um, if you want to become a top person in your industry, if you want to become the expert in your industry and get people to believe in that and invest in your membership site, well then you got to have some high, high quality content. And the best way to do that is to research what is already out there. And, and I, I say this a lot in my training. Um, you know, you don't want to reinvent the wheel you want to find something that's already a proven winner you want to go out there and find courses that are already doing well you want to find books that are already doing well you want to find products that are already doing well because these are proven winners these have great content and these are what you can use to formulate the outline for your training and then you can put it in your style and you can take it up a notch by becoming the most in-depth product or membership on that topic so uh, that's the first thing you go out there you go to sites like Udemy you go to lynda.com you go to Amazon and look at books you go out there and you look at magazines um, you go to competitors and see what kind of courses they have and maybe right now you're looking at this and saying well hey I'm interested uh, in a certain topic but I'm not what I consider an expert yet well, that's, that's another thing with the research stage. If you're not an expert yet, that, that's okay. You need to go out there and become the expert. Go out there and buy the top three to five courses uh, in your niche. Um, go out there and buy three to five books in your niche and study them. You know, take detailed notes, learn them inside and out, and I can almost guarantee you, after you have done that, you're going to know more than 90% of other people uh, about that specific topic. Okay, so once you've went out there, you've looked at these other things, you've made in-depth notes about each one of them, you've learned about the market, you know what people want, you know what kind of content does well, you want to start to formulate the outline for your membership site. So... Uh, you went through, you found all these awesome topics that people want to know the most. You found the, the biggest problems for people in your niche that your membership site is going to help answer and help them with. Well, now you create an outline to organize that content, put it in sequential order, and um, you know make sure it flows from one thing to the next. So um, what you do is you, you essentially take the... Um, you know the main topic of your membership site you put that on the top of uh, your piece of paper or in a word processor you put that at the top and then beneath that you break out the individual section so um, I like to think of it as like a book so right now you would be creating your table of contents essentially so um, you'd have your main topic across the top and then you would break it out into subsections and then you fill the meat in beneath those subsections of what you're going to cover in each one of those subtopics. So, um, you know, and one thing I want to point out here is with your outline, you want to be as detailed as you need because, you know, some people work differently. I When I create a training, I need a lot of notes in front of me. I need a you know, a bullet point for every single topic that I'm going to cover, just like you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, some people, they only need, you know, their main bullet points for the sections and they can kind of just go off the top of their head. But for me personally, I like to have a more detailed outline with a lot of different bullet points that gives me a lot of talking points. And that way I make sure that I don't forget anything as I go through uh, the training. And this is how I lay out my membership sites. 
um, and I'm currently working on two right now and this is the exact same process that I am using to create all the content for those how to organize it and all that kind of stuff so uh, this is good stuff make sure you outline your content guys um, it's it's just gonna save so much time if you just go out there and you start to try to create your content one thing at a time you're gonna forget things things probably won't be in sequential order that makes sense for your customers um, and you know you'll be staring at a blank screen so lay out your outline so you know exactly what you're going to cover everything's organized in a, in a great format and you it'll be much easier for you in the end okay so let's talk about types of content um, you know for membership sites it, it's it's really up to you there's so many different things that you can do you can do audio you can do video you can do PDFs uh, in text format you can send uh, people emails that has your content you can you know just have a mastermind group uh, as, as part of your membership site and that has a lot of user generated content and content that you post so there's so many different types of content that you can create guys um, it's really up to your preference and what works best for your niche um, so think about your audience's needs and which one would you know be best for them you know if you're doing something that is very detailed um, that has a lot of steps you know video is going to be a great format for that so you can break it out for them they can see what you're doing um, what and one other thing I just want to point out is oftentimes video has a much higher perceived value so even if it's something that you can do with audio or text if you can put it on your screen and record yourself talking over it and going through it just like I am right now it's gonna have a much higher perceived value than if you were just to, to write an email or, or do some audio so just kinda of remember that as you create your content and if you have the time or the resources to you know convert those videos to audio or or get them transcribed and turn them into text or make them into reports that can add even more value to the content that you're creating for your membership site because you know some people if, if they're on the road they can just throw on the audio track and listen to your content there um, some people like to read before they go to bed at night so if you have your content in text format that gives them a chance to you know just relax and kind of read the content um, and also some people would you know they just like to have those additional notes they might even have the text in front of them as they listen or watch your videos um, so having those extra types of content can add more value to your membership site um, but only do that you know if you, if you really think it's necessary um, and you're really trying to over deliver with your membership site uh, personally I like to use video um, but I, I include other components like like checklists and uh, other things like little reports um, and tools like that in my membership sites that just you know give them a little bit extra value that over delivers a little bit and just kinda gives them a, a couple different options to to view content and get value from the membership site alright so let's talk about some of the tools here um, there are so many different tools you probably have enough tools that you need on whatever computer you're using right now to create all the content for your membership site and if you don't there's so many amazing free tools out there that you can use uh, for example one of the tools that I'm using right now is Google Slides it's, it's very simple um, it's just like a PowerPoint or a keynote um, and I'm, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to uh, record this video now I paid for the upgrade so that way um, I don't have to have the Screencast-O-Matic logo on my videos and things like that I think there's some other restrictions if you don't have the paid version but it's only fifteen dollars a year and it's it's something that I use every day and it's very very powerful uh, it's great for recording videos like this but it's also great if I want to record uh, demonstration videos so I use this a ton along with Google Slides because uh, it just works out great it's free and all my content is out there anywhere I need it on the web so uh, there, there's that um, also you know with uh, Google Drive you can create spreadsheets you can create documents um, or you know if you already have like Word or uh, pages and things like that you don't even need to use Google Drive but I like to use it because everything is out there no matter where I go with an internet connection I have every single file that I need regardless of what computer I'm on or you know what device that I'm on so that's pretty awesome 
Um, like I mentioned, you can use PowerPoint or Keynote. Um, occasionally I do use Keynote to create some of the presentations that I create just because um, it, it makes, you can do some really nice looking things in Keynote. Um, I could probably do the same things in Google Drive if I was to sit down and take the time to learn it. Um, but another thing I like about Keynote is when I record the, the presentations, um, it has a nice built-in recorder that you can record the presentations as you go. Um, and it makes it really nice to, to go through the slides and things like that. It kind of gives you a preview of what slide's coming next. So if I'm doing certain types of uh, presentation videos, I will use Keynote over Google Drive or Google Slides like you're seeing right now. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about here is the types of content uh, that you create for your membership site. Um, you know, really depends on your audience and their needs. Now, we already kind of touched on this uh, up above, but I, I just want to really, you know, make sure that you focus on your end user's need. Um, you know, make it so it's as easy and as valuable for them as possible when you create your content. Um, you want to give them a great experience because you want them to stick around. You want them to be a member of your site for a while. You want them to get value out of your site and spread the word. So just really think about your audience with the content that you create and what is going to be best for them because that's going to give them the best experience and it's going to do well for you, for them promoting your membership site, uh, for them giving you great testimonials. Um, and it, it just, it's a win-win situation. So make sure you tailor your content to their specific needs and focus on creating it in the formats that are, that are best for them. Um, so let's talk about how to lay out your content a little bit. Um, you, you know, if you did the outline, like I talked about above, you probably set things up, uh, in a sequential order, which is so, so important. Uh, you want to take them from where they are now with their problem to where they want to be with your membership site. And you want to do that in a sequential order that takes them step by step and gets them exactly where they need. As far as how you actually lay out the content within your membership site is really up to you. But again, you want to deliver the best user experience. I like to have a members dashboard for every membership site that I create that um, breaks things down into modules or individual uh, training pieces that they can go to and it leads them down in a sequential order. Uh, when they click on that, it'll load in, a, uh, in a, a, a new page, but then they'll also have access to go back and forth. Um, you know, there's usually a return to dashboard button or, um, you know, like a link to go to the next video. Just make it as user friendly as possible. Um, if I didn't have the uh, the recording set here for the the size of actually you know what let me let me try to see if I can show you here let me pull up so you might see some weird stuff here because I got the screen minimized but let me see uh, what we can do here let's go to let's see and that is the sales page we don't want that let me. Log in here. All right, so I'm just gonna head over to the member dashboard for this site. All right, now I know you can't see the entire screen here, uh, but you can see some of it. So uh, this is one of my sites, for example. So you know you can see the menu bar at the top. You got a welcome video here and then I have links to all the training and this takes them in sequential order exactly where they need to to go next in the training so this is really really good because it, it's laid out uh, in perfect order for them they can get to the training exactly how they need they click on this and it opens up a, a new window for that uh, for that specific lesson and then over here on the side, they can go back to the dashboard and they can get support. So um, it, it makes it really easy for them to get to where they need and learn what they need and just kind of navigate the site. And that's the way I recommend that you lay out yours. You make it just really user friendly, make it easy for them to get to the content that they need 
and just give them the best overall experience. So um, that's everything there. So I'm going to hop back to our presentation here. Um, one other thing I want to mention is the welcome video that you like you just saw on that page is um, when you create your content for your membership site at first it may be confusing for them so what I like to do is I create a welcome video um, you know that basically thanks them for their purchase welcomes them to the training area and then I, I show them how to navigate the site and this just uh, it, it takes care of a lot of support questions you might get um, it makes it easy for them to find the content that they need. Um, it, it's just a really good user experience. So you welcome welcome them to the training. Uh, you show them in the video how to navigate the site and get everything they need or get the help they need. And it's just really a nice touch to your membership content. So I highly recommend that you do that. Um, and again, we already talked about putting things in sequential order. So I think that that pretty much wraps it up. You know, really focus on your members, do your research ahead of time and make sure you create awesome content for your membership sites and just make it as best for your customers as possible. Um, and hopefully that clears up any questions you might have for creating content for your membership sites. But if not, um, you know, you can always contact me, uh, leave me a note on my, my blog or send me an email, william at authoritypower.com and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about creating content for membership sites or anything else you may have. So thank you so much for watching this training, and I will talk to you soon.